So YouTube and barbecue guys, pretty much synonymous, at least for the last couple of years. Started off over on, uh, I believe, Rhoda, shooting against just a picket fence out of the back of the warehouse, maybe even showroom, not 100% sure. Oh, you, uh, my first time on video was quite green, you could tell. Uh, we did a pot of crawfish and man, I, yeah, just full of adrenaline and nervous the whole time, but turned out good. Originally, the media department was just me. And so I was the guy who did the lighting, I was the guy who did the set and the stage, I was the guy who put the grills together, I was the guy who was on the camera, who set up the camera, who turned on the camera, who turned off the camera. It was all very, and I, I knew I needed help, but I really didn't realize and I don't know how, I probably just exhaustion, but I, I didn't realize how much it would help and what would happen. Randy and Chef, I mean, they, they truly love to be in front of the camera and just help. You know, to see where we've come since then is, is crazy. The, the, the group we have now producing content just does phenomenal stuff, um, even recently. Um, you know, the, the challenges that they've had to overcome to still produce great content has just been, it's been so cool to see. Um, and so this is, Man, this is just so cool. Man, when I started, it was three different video teams, um, all creating content for three different brands. And now we're just a giant team creating really exciting content for one brand. <laughs> I was supposed to say something profound so here, profound, Sean. So yeah, working, working uh, behind the camera. I've always been behind the camera. And uh, since uh, we've been working from home and uh, a lot of the video producers have been getting in front of the camera and I've been forced to do uh, against my will, if anyone's watching, um, you know, help. Man, we, we all bust our butts in this department uh, to make amazing content. Yeah, whenever I started it was just Chef and his camcorder and he had like three monitors. He had built lights with PVC pipe and CFL lights and he was just relieved to have one other person in the building with him. So we started making some videos, you know. I think my favorite thing about being a video producer at Barbecue Guys is probably uh, getting to work with great people like Sean, Parrish, Randy, Chef, the whole gang, um, Cullen, everybody. And uh, make sure you put it where the part about you, how I talk about liking to work with you. So Sean asked me to go through YouTube and find some of my favorite comments. And a couple of the others that stick out naturally would be Mark from Hawaii, this was from five years ago, on my caveman steak video, he says, mmm, og like, og try, or poiv sauce to expand og's palate. One mentioning that uh, sound like Brad Pitt, I'll take that. Give to sweetie once og find his club. Mark from Hawaii, you and I, we could party together, that's a fact. How to cook the perfect steak. Did you mean make art? Because this is like, watch. I, see, I can't. It said, uh, one person said, nice to know that your family will be fighting over your stuff if something were to happen to you. Did you mean make art? Because this is like watching Bob Ross operate a grill. This was on Randy's How to Cook a Perfect Steak video. And I told him that that is the highest compliment in the land. These videos suck. Oh man. I was all ready to post about how inauthentic the resultant tomato soup would be from this jambalaya, but the result is perfect consistency. Not exactly the same recipe as my grandma's, but still same preparation and cooking technique. I wish more cooks outside of Louisiana see this easy way to make it. Los Angeles jambalaya is fine if you like thick tomato soup with a little bit of rice. That blonde guy is good looking. Hey, Chef Tony, which to which we responded, hey, and that's it. Do you have any tips on how to get the wife to let me buy one? I don't know who's hotter, Sean or Blaine. Everyone, thank you. 100,000 subscribers, it's amazing. Uh, it's been an awesome journey. Thank you for sticking with us through the years. A lot more cool content to come. Everyone, everyone knows why we're at 100K and you're looking at them. So thank you and you're welcome. Thanks for 100K. <laughs> Thanks guys, thanks for following, thanks for subscribing, y'all are the best. Thanks for 100K guys. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and our fan base and people that 
that truly comment in and care and tell us what they want to see and, and just all the people that help move this along. This is not a one-man band. I mean, this, is, this takes all of us, including the fans, to become anything. And so I really appreciate it. Thank you all very much. Thank you sincerely from the bottom of our hearts. We do this for y'all. We do this to have fun, to spread knowledge. It, it really, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for y'all. So thank you. And I just want to say thank you to everybody out there who subscribed and made all this possible. Uh, we really appreciate you. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. You make it a pleasure to come to work every day. Thanks. Because at Barbecue Guys, we're all Barbecue Guys. Oh, uh, let's see. One of my favorite comments over the years was, man, someone that finally knows what they're talking about. That was a good one to hear. Avocado oil, question mark, question mark. Gone, skull face emoji. And I was like, it's a good high heat oil to use. Somebody chimed in and said, what's wrong with avocado oil? And they said, if you have to ask, then there's no hope for you. If a bunch of 13-year-old boys out camping in the woods attempted to cook steak, you'd expect similar results. Yes, you would. Hmm. That's a filthy filly. That's in reference to my cheesesteak. Spelled with a PH. Uh, Santa? Love it. Hey, you know how it is. I've seen and read so many weird comments on so many different topics ranging from agriculture, mechanics, cooking, tech, and even how-to clips, etc. where there's trolls, trolls. I got something to enhance a gumbo to a new level. Honey, yep, honey. Give it a taste test. What's Santa doing in your house? This portable burn, anyway, this goes on for like ever. This is like the longest conversation I've ever seen. Paris did a really great job of responding to him, but they're basically pen pals now. I don't know. That's terrible. Don't use that one, please.